is the lovely and gracious Mrs. Dodge. You can see the title right there, lovely and gracious Mrs. Dodge. And um, one of my students came into a question was they wanted to add a custom font. But of course, they didn't want one from the choices that Edge gives you. So, you know, if you come over here and you click the plus and there's the Edge web fonts. No, not good enough. And because we're at school, we don't have access to Typekit. And of course, Google fonts did not have what they wanted either. Yay. So this took me a while to figure out, but so they decided that they would download a font from the font. So I'm going to show you how to add a custom font that you've downloaded to your folder. First thing I want to do is I'm going to save this in a folder. So I'm going to file, save, uh, lovely and gracious. And I will make a new folder. And on the lovely and gracious folder, create and save. All right. So I've done that. I'm going to go to the font right here. And let's go the font.com. There you go, the font. And they always have interesting stuff. Um, I like to look at, you know, I like to look around, see what they got. If there's anything I think is cool. And, ooh, I kind of like this Brazil food thing. So I'm going to download it. Download. And it's done. So I'll just, there it is. And there it is. So I need to move this around. And in my case, I, I saved my folder to the um, desktop. And of course, I save my font to download. So I'm going to drop this on the desktop. And then I'm going to find it again. You know, I might as well show you what I'm doing, right? There's Brazil food. And I'm going to drop it into that folder that I named. There it is, the TLG. Just drop it in. So inside my folder is another folder. Let's drop it in that one. There we go. And there we have it. There's the name of my uh, file edge all my edge pieces excellent i can leave the font and i want this for just a second i want to get the name brazil food 3 ttf so i'm going to copy it you know why because i'll get it wrong if i try and spell it it's that simple so i'm going to hide it there we go now you can't do this the click the font thing added it's not that easy you gotta go a little old school on it so the first thing I'm gonna do is open up a plain text editor I happen to have text wrangler you can use anything you want and I'm gonna create a CSS style sheet and I'm gonna write a at font hyphen face right open curly brace Skip a couple lines, close curly brace. Now, I need to set this up the right way. So we need font, family. Now, the thing is about font family, you could like call it anything, but I think the name is probably a good idea. So Brazil Food 3, inside quotes, and a semicolon, and then a new line. And then we'll go with uh, SRC, which is oops, which is the uh, source, and we want to go URL, and it's going to be all in the same folder, so we don't have to worry about it too much, so I'm going to paste it in. This time I'm going to leave the TTF on, and the reason I'm going to do that is because it's it wants the real name of the real font. Close parentheses, whoops, yeah, close parentheses, semicolon. I need to put quotes around these. These are words. Computer needs to know the words. All right. Now, I know there's other fonts you can use, and you can all complain about that, but we're going with the TTF. That's it. So I need to save this, and I'm going to save it as my style. Uh, dot, <clears throat> excuse me. Dot CSS. And I'm going to save it in my folder. 
and it's there and I can close this I just have to remember my style is the name of it we are so much closer now come over here to the fonts plus the press plus the press sign plus press the plus sign click go to custom now I'm gonna move this over so you can see what I'm doing now if you recall the name of that font was Brazilian food I'm gonna take the TTF off now I need to add the code now when I first did this it did I didn't realize that this little pop-up right here this will be injected into the head of the page when I figured that out I realized I could use a CSS style sheet so I need to just write a basic uh, link for this so it's link rel equals and inside double quotes is style sheet close the double quotes then we've got the href equals and in again in quotes my as style dot CSS right because remember that's what I named it okay type ty whoops type equals and in quotes again text slash CSS close quotes so far so good um, media equals and that's just screen because that's what we're doing so screen title if you needed one you can just put it in there equals and then that's closed and then you need the character setter the char character set set equals and in quotes again it's the utf hyphen eight close the quotes backslash close that all right add font there it is if I come over here and I add it it looks just what we thought it would look like so let's look at it a browser command return and there it is I was zoomed up on the other one that's why it looks so small on here but there it is and that's how you add a custom font that's not in edge web fonts Google fonts or if you don't have access to the type kit I know it was a long way around but go home we're done